The other thing that you need to do is when you go into these conversations, you need to find out if the client is right for you. I tell my team this all the time. We are, we don't want to get bogged down with a customer who's not right for us because it, it keeps us from helping other people. Here are the key decision makers you speak with at organizations to green light an IIoT project. Outstanding question. So, uh, so I think I, what I'm going to do is touch on that pol the politic part. Okay. Um, in this answer. So, I would say in general, um, there, there are basically two ways that we get introduced to customers. Either they, the three ways really, either they reach out to us because of our reputation. We reach out to them, guys like Vaughn and John are looking for people who need our help. Generally, we're targeting the customers that we know if they don't make a change, they're gonna be obsolete. So we're generally targeting them. Uh, these are people, people don't generally- like to, People don't like to hear that though. Well, if, if they don't like to hear it, then we don't work with them. Um, and Javon will tell you, we just had this call. We just had this discussion yesterday. We, um, and I'll talk about it in a second. Um, or they are referred to us by another client, a vendor, a strategic partner. Okay. Most of the time, the person that we're talking to now is their IIoT guru. Most companies by, at this point, especially now, come July, end of July, 2020, they have all created digital transformation boards. They've all steering committees. They've all created IIoT gurus and they started, and many of them started doing it in March. Okay. So literally they've, the, they're freaking out. There are, you, you, you want to talk about the economic impact of this pandemic. There are, you know, uh, we're, we're at a million small businesses have closed in the United States. That that's by the way, is like 13 years of business creation. Um, it takes 13 years to create a million businesses. 13 years of business creation has evaporated since March. Okay, a million businesses are closed. Um, you have manufacturers all over the globe that are going to go under. Okay, all over the globe. You, you, we won't see any of the real bad numbers until Q1. So Q1 is when you're going to start seeing the devastating reports. By the way, today, a, uh, Reuters just reported this morning that the actual um, economic GDP contraction for Q2 was 32%. We ran our models that we wrote, so that, which by the way is unprecedented, five times greater than any bigger contract, any, any other previous contraction. We, we, we've been running linear regressions to do that analysis and we projected 36%. So that's how close uh, machine, learning, machine learning came to predicting what the actual contraction was. And our numbers were calculated in the beginning of April. So we knew that the Q2 contraction was going to be, we thought it was going to be 36% when we ran the machine learning, we ran linear regressions and it ended up being 36, it ended up being 32. Um, so what's happening is right now we're talking to the IIoT guru because every company is now creating them. Okay. So it doesn't matter whether you're talking about our biggest pharmaceutical company, our biggest food and bev company, um, where they have some digital transformation manager. Okay. Um, prior to that, most of the time we were talking to like the corporate director of engineering or an engineer, a process engineer or a production engineer in one of their plants who had a vision. The answer, the long, the short answer is you have to be prepared to talk to lots of different people. And, but what's most important here, this is the most important thing. When you are talking about IIoT, you can't, you, you're not selling IIoT, okay? What you are doing is you are educating the customer on IIoT. You are telling the customer, you're not going to be in business if you don't do this. And I, you know, we use Amazon and Tesla and we use all of the, you know, I use the phone analogy all the time. I say, there are manufacturers out there. In fact, we're working with one right now, a brand new company that is gonna compete with some big boys they, and they are high, they've hired our company to digitally transform them before they even put the first shovel in the ground, building their new facility. They're building a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility that is literally going to crush the competition, crush their competition. Like how Amazon crushes the competition. <laughs> a absolutely, yep. And, and, and I can tell you one, one other thing. The other thing that you need to do is when you go into these conversations, you need to find out if the client is right for you. I tell my team this all the time. 
we are we don't want to get bogged down with a customer who's not right for us because it it keeps us from helping other people we have to decide are these guys going to be in business or are they going under are, are internal politics going to kill them or are they going to overcome them? we ask those questions and you have to ask those questions